Here's today's Tackle and Gear. Hello everybody, we're going to talk to you a little bit about the gear that we're going to be using on today's episode. Um, we start out with our 8 foot uh, Rappler rods, this happens to be the Magnum uh, Predator series. Um, paired them up with the Hydros uh, reels and this is a 6 ball bearing reel. And the line that we're using today is a Suffolk braid, 100 pound or 130 pound braid that we're using today. And Kevin, this is kind of where you come in down to the other stuff that we're going to need as well. Yeah, we have uh, one bead above our swivel, which we're going to attach our weight to. Another bead to protect your knot, swivel, and then uh, our leader. Yeah, which is 60 pound mono. 60 pound mono. Yep. Down to a... Uh, Gamagatsu uh, 9 knot. 9 knot, perfect. And uh, see how it goes today. And we're using the typical, of course, uh, Fraser River weights that guys are buying, the, the weights, and we're using 22s or 18s, depending yeah, on the current. Yep. That's, uh, that's correct. Right now, this one is a 22. We're sitting, uh, we're going to fish here for a little bit and maybe use a 20 uh, yep. ounce in here. So, Okay. Then we also have the Scotty, uh, Scotty rod protector at the end there that we, we throw on and gives a little bit more comfort when you're fighting those big fish and not getting the butt of the rod digging into your system, into your uh, stomach or whatever. So yep. that should be it. These are uh, a few of the things you're going to need to be successful out sturgeon fishing. And now, a recap of today's Tackle and Gear. 